Okay, so I've been asked this question. Um, it was by, I forgot now, um, Kaylee. So Kaylee asked me uh, if you could turn an image into a silhouette. I was doing a um, Woody character of Toy Story. So hopefully I got the request correct. So I'm going to just open this image that I have. So you see I've been fiddling a bit here. Yeah, I've got transparent backgrounds, but I'm going to just use this one just to show you the process. So this is the photo. Um, this is the photo I'm going to do and we want to remove the background and then turn this into a silhouette. Hopefully I got that correct from the request. So um, I, I've got a background removal software um, subscription. I got this on AppSumo for I think $59 for a lifetime thing and these guys are getting better by the day. There's quite a few of these apps out there but I wanted something for lifetime. And then the other thing is uh, I think it's Photo Room that I also have on my phone. I use that quite a bit. But background, what's this? Backgroundcut.co. Really great. So you've got to go via AppSumo else here. Yeah, there's just the monthly payment thing. So let me clear this off and just show you what I do. So I'll go and open this image. Um, and then I mean, I'm not going to convert it now again, but you can see there's the conversion that happens and then I download the high resolution which is up to 12 megs at the moment. So they pretty much when to go and do it. Okay and then download it. So you've seen I've downloaded here already. I just want to show you inside Affinity. So I'm going to go and open. Uh, this would be one that's got a transparent background. I did this earlier on. So if we open that you'll see it comes up as fully transparent. Now usually Affinity will bring it in with a lock here so I'm just going to unlock it so that I can move it around. Okay so if we want to turn this into a silhouette uh, pretty much it's on the layer. Now my layers are on the left. Uh, most times it actually comes up on the right but I'm so used to it here. Then you go to your adjustment layer and I, I was just experimenting. I use exposure. So if you go to exposure and just turn the exposure all the way down, there you have a silhouette. Okay, there's a little bit of transparency over here. So if you want to get that sorted out, you can play around with it. But I'm going to go Control J and I'm going to duplicate this layer with the adjustment on it. So I'm going to go Control J and there you see it's a bit more bold. So this, this kind of might work. And if you want to bring back one of the layers, you could probably just pull it back or, you know, fiddle like that with it. Uh, because there is a bit of uh, sort of light shining through here, if you're looking at that. Okay, but this would be how I would uh, convert it into a silhouette. Um, I don't know the question was and whether you can change this into a mask um, for purposes. But the only reason I would want this for a mask is if I was going to cut out the background, which I have software to do that with. So hopefully this helps um, explain that and hopefully I'm spot on with the request that was made.